Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali Hi, back again with the one and only, the icon himself, Uncle Tony is here in the kitchen. So I'm going to share with you one last dish. So delicious. Yes, it has seafood and it has pasta because that's just our strong suit. It's what we like. It's what we grew up with. You take it from here. What are we okay. making? We're making uh, spaghetti with asparagus, clay, asparagus and zafferano. Okay. Very so not good. Asparagus so what, what with we do? asparagus, yeah. saffron, and clams. We cut this one. Okay. This one we're going to make cream, okay? We take this one. So the asparagus okay. has already been trimmed, but he's going to take the base and he's going to cook it separately because he's going to make like an asparagus cream to add to the dish, essentially. Yeah. It's for the and pasta. it's going to be amazing. We had this about a week ago when he first got here and he made it and it was... So sensational. I could not believe it. I wouldn't necessarily think to put these two together, but especially with the saffron, it worked very, very well. The first thing we've got is we've got our pasta water boiling, but we've also got some additional water up to a boil because he's going to cook the base of the asparagus so that they're nice and tender to, I have make, to make a cream. The cream. Yep. It's gonna be very nice. The tip on that one was lost. Yep. We've got clams purging in some salted okay. water, which you always want to do. You never That's want to good. leave your dirty clams. We could put a little bit of water in here yeah. to dilute the saffron. I took some saffron, about a half of an ounce, and I just, I use my little mortar and pestle here to crush it because it just releases the scent and hey. the color. I think much, much better. See that? Una diferencia. Yeah. And when you add it to whatever you're adding it to, it just will grab on to that flavor and color much faster. So, I'm very pumped about it, actually. Okay. You explain, and I, I'm just here for, for fun. Okay, you want okay. this? Okay. We're gonna salt the asparagus. He's gonna do the asparagus separately, the tips of the asparagus separately from the clams. That way they both have a chance to cook properly, you know? I always forget it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Remember, start your, start your aliens in a cold pan if you want to infuse the flavor into the oil. Otherwise, you're gonna have just burnt aliens and they won't soften and they won't release your oil. Same reason, sort of like when you wanna release, like when you release fat from bacon and you start it in a cold pan. Same sort of situation, okay? These are almost done. How many more minutes? A little bit more. No, a little more. bit more. more. Those should take about seven minutes. You want yeah. them to be really soft because you're gonna cream them. Like you're gonna blend them right. so that they turn into like a cream, basically. Right. And be delicious. Oh, you need your tongues. I know I have them somewhere. Right here. Wash it all, ready to go. See? Put this one here. Very nice. Any salt yet? Beautiful. How long? I think about five, five seven minutes. Maybe a little longer too. The first one up was two. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, it was first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Jump start. It jump starts the cooking process of the asparagus. Because if there's one thing I can tell you that Italians are not on board with is a tender, crisp veg. We want it cooked. We don't want it crisp. We want it cooked. So even though you want to retain not the color. Not a lot, not a lot, but it's to be cooked. Yeah. I mean, I mean it can, can be like uh, crispy, but it's to be cooked though. Yeah. No, not raw because then it's not good. Let it cook for a little bit, okay, John? Okay, it's gonna take the asparagus yes. base out because they're, they're ready. tender. Take it out. Just place them in a bowl to cool just for a minute before we Make puree it that. Right. Very nice, very nice. It smells good in here, I can tell you that. Yeah. Okay. Something you make at the restaurant, this one? Yes. People love it? Actually, yes, we sell a lot of this one. A friend, uh, I mean, I had a chef, he teach me how to do this one. And since we started making this kind of dishes, we sell them a lot. That's why I love it. It's, uh, people, people love, love it. it. 
And I think too, it's it's a great use of yep. like seasonal, like when the asparagus first come into season, it's a great way to use them. But I also think you can do this with frozen asparagus. I would I would think. Yes. Yeah. You could probably do the same thing with frozen but, asparagus. Uh, you know, if you we have a fresh one. Uh, we use the fresh one. Superior. But the frozen is good too. We use that too because we don't have the asparagus all year. Yeah. So, let's send it another suit up. Okay, let's make a cream. Cooked asparagus, right? Yep. I mean, if you're making this for a lot of people, you can just do this in a food processor, it'd be easier. But a handheld blender and a wide mouth jar will do the trick just fine. These extras? Yep. Mm. I, don't think, I don't think we need them more for two dishes. I love asparagus. You do? Mm-hmm. They're good for health too. Yeah. Very good. A little bit of this cooking water that you cook the asparagus in, and then just blend and toast it. They're ready, nice, cooked and crispy too. Take it away. Very nice tender. It's tender, yeah, crisp. Well. Not really crisp, but tender they're not crisp. mush. They're not mushy, you know? We don't want mushy. We don't like mushy. You need mushy for this, which is why we boil them in lots of water for a long time. That, you yeah. don't want mushy. Wow. They look nice. So, take this way, we wash it. We got something else. You put a pasta in. I don't know. One portion should be this much. Maybe it's a little more extra too. Okay. So, we're gonna make two. We make like this. Okay, that's side. Dokey artichokey. Okie dokie. Then we put oil in here. Very nice. Yeah. That's Olive beautiful. oil. Garlic. There you go. And cook. For your spaghetti? Yeah. You put it in the pot? Okay. Okay. Ci messo il sale? Sì. Okay. Salt is in. Sorry, oh, salt. I wanted to talk to you about the clams. When you get clams, uh, little cherry stone or little neck clams are what was available to us, wild of course. You want to make sure you purge them into salted water. Typically I do this about six hours ahead of time and then I keep them in the fridge in cold Salt, salted water and I change that water every hour and a half or so. It really helps the clam open up and open just up release and all of their sand. Right. If you go straight from the bag of clams to your pan, be prepared to have sand in your dish. So it's worth taking the time. You can also do it the night before. I've done it the night before with great success. Um, so that's something to keep in mind that it can be done, the purging process can be done the night before and just leave them in the cold water in the fridge overnight with salt in the water. It worked wonders. I'm gonna put the clams inside, okay? Okay. Okay. The lid is behind you if you need it. Use that one, see, see. Gotta put this on top a little bit. Gotta put the lid. Wait until they open. All right, he added a little bit of the starchy water to the clams to help them along. They're starting to open. Yep. Which looks really mm. nice. Yeah. We don't want to cook this loud because... No. Uh, she makes it zafferano? Zafferano is open. Okay. They look nice. It smells really great. Oh, no, okay. This is another way. You know the rule. Shellfish, when it's raw, must be closed before you cook it. If it's open, discard it. When they're cooked, it's the opposite. If they're closed, discard them. Yep. That's always the rule of thumb. It's always the opposite. Let me put this on top of it. Remember, that's the saffron that I added some hot water to. Yep. Okay, just a half a gram. Did I say half a gram or half an ounce? So I meant to say half of an ounce. Wow. Right? Wow. No. Half of a gram, not half of an ounce. That's what I meant to say. So relatively speaking, we're talking half teaspoon or less. Okay, pass is almost ready. So we gotta hurry up. I'm going to learn. See, bye bye. This asparagus cream. 
Okay. There you go. go. Okay, oh. we took out the garlic, by the way. Yeah. Wow. And the color of the zafarano. Yeah, this time we got it. Yeah, when we made this last week, I didn't, uh, I didn't like crush the saffron. I just used the saffron, like you know, threads, and just put some water to it, and they didn't release that kind of color. So, if you're going to use saffron, it's always nice to have a little more in pestle and just crush it a bit, and then add some boiling water. It brings that color in the set. Like I couldn't believe the difference. Come on. You know, another thing, the secret is to come much good, much better. You have to taste it. Taste it taste as you go. Taste all the time. Taste as you go. You never know what you need unless you taste as you go. I think it's good. Because if it's salty, you can put oh, no, just a plain water and you help it. If it's not salty, we put a little bit of salt more. But no, that's, that's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. It's really perfect. Pass yeah. is almost ready. Take this one. It's really nice. So what I want to do now, just take, take some of what off. Some of the so we can, out. we can Toss just, the pasta. yes, you're right. Okay. I'm going to quickly just cover them with some okay. plastic wrap to keep them really hot. Because I don't want them to cool down and then shrivel, you know? Just for a minute, just for a minute while we add the pasta and toss it all together. Mind you, this takes 20 minutes tops from start to finish. You just need to work quickly and... I shouldn't even say you need to work quickly. It's all ingredients that take minutes to cook. It's just that we're showing you. So obviously, to explain as we go, it takes a little more time. But otherwise, it's Pasta just, is ready. It's fast. I'm gonna do this. We don't want more water. Mm. Wow, look at the color. <laughs> really beautiful. And by the way, I mean, look. If you don't have saffron, you can't find it, you could just leave it out. But I do think it makes a difference. However, I do know that it is sometimes hard to find and can be very pricey depending on where you are from. So if you are having a hard time finding it or you just feel like, you know what, I'd rather spend the money on the clam, just leave it out. But look at the color though. And that's what I like the for. Wow. See, See what, what I like the for? Yeah. Nice. See, I, see it's creamy? Just perfect. I can't get over the color of that pasta. Okay. Soon. <laughs> yeah, turn everything off. It's off. Okay. I'm gonna just take this off. Wow. That is beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not good at making the bird's nest with the pasta. Well, I'm, me too. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm not good at it. But it's okay. It's lack, okay. We try. We try. I lack yeah. coordination. I lack okay. the, the, the proper thing needed to make it nice. Pasta? Yeah, for sure. You wouldn't believe the flavor that this has. Yeah, I got it, got it, got it, got it. You would not believe the flavor that this pasta has between obviously the natural flavor from the clam, the saffron, the asparagus, the garlic, the extra virgin olive oil, all of them together is really outstanding, I have to say. When he made this for me, for us, I should say, for the first time last week, I didn't know what to expect. And then we all, literally, before, between the four of us, we ate a pound and a quarter of pasta. That's how good it was. It, it was pretty outstanding. That's beautiful. Sure. That is beautiful. Huh? Look at the saffron threads a little bit. You can see that. But for the most part, because we, because I really took my time to, to yes. really pulverize it, it's spot on. Well, the first thing I want to do is this. Because I love I clam. I know. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Oh man. That is oh, phenomenal. That is a good one. Buonissimo. It's not like the one we have in Italy, but it's good. This is because they're from the sea. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. So wow. It's out. wow, wow, wow. Mm. That is outstanding. Oh, that's such a Spanish. Buono. Ho detto. 
Cook good mm -hmm. and crispy. Mm -hmm. No one. Mm. I'll take ah. another claim. Asparagus are pretty, like the tips of the asparagus are cooked perfectly. Yeah. Mama, yo. Mm, yeah. Wow. Too Listen, good. Listen, I will have the recipe written for you. Listen. Yep. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it. This it's, is been a, me. it's been a pleasure. It has been an honor. And it has been um, a dream come true for me. In many ways, both personally and him being on the the kitchen with you anyway. Uh, so, a big thank you to Uncle Tony. Until next time. Yeah, I don't know when, but I, I hope soon as I can. Yes, I will be going to Sicily next year. My so My best. That's right, get that on camera. <laughs> best. That's no, better than me. I don't want the other to hear this. I do. They're, they're, I do. They're going to kill me. <laughs> My other I nephews do. and niece, they kill me. Oh, you know I'm going to put that You segment. know why? Because she's the best. Because she's the first one. The first one. We grow together. And, right? I, and I'm also great. So okay. it makes me the best in many ways. Um, but thank you for being on my show. And I'm going to go to Sicily next me? year. So follow Uncle Tony on Instagram. Link is down below. I expect videos from him. There's a lot there already. So you guys will have a good I try, time. I try to do the best. You know, I'm applause. pretty busy. I, know. I try to do. I'm busy. I know. But you Working do great. Hard. Round of applause for Uncle Tony. I have the recipe ready for you. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you. That was a great farewell, my friend. <laughs>